so today we are down at the uh, Royal Docks in London uh, with Kerry Ann Payne uh, and we're in the weird position where actually I am more experienced than what we're about to do than Kerry Ann. Uh, so Kerry Ann, what are we about to do? So I have decided that it'd be a great idea to start challenging myself a little bit more when it comes to swimming. So 10Ks are a really long way. I don't really want to do 10Ks anymore, but I still want to challenge. And everyone keeps going on about how amazing cold water swimming is, especially you. So I thought, right, here we are, let's have a go. And who better to help me through this transition challenge, <laughs> can't really tell, is, uh, yeah, is you. And so. what is the temperature today in the water? It's a balmy seven degrees. So three whole degrees under double digits. Yeah. And how long are you going to planning to stay in for? Oh, it's going to, I'm not sure I'd be able to call it a swim. I think that's probably where we're at right now. But I'm very aware that it takes, you know, little bits and often to start off with until you start to get your, um, you know, you start to get used to it. So today's just going to be about the starting process and then we'll see how we go. Cool. Let's get in the water. Yay. So how are you feeling? Well, we're definitely less stressed than we were yes. before and close to the water <laughs> i certainly um, am less stressed so <laughs> a little bit more uh, anxious maybe but excited i definitely know that when i get out i'm gonna feel really good but it's this first bit the anticipation of getting in because i know that it's gonna be cold yeah definitely gonna be cold so um <laughs> just a few tips before yes. before we get before we get in the water so the water is seven degrees seven degrees uh seven and seven seven <laughs> yeah uh so the biggest the biggest thing is obviously cold water shock which yeah. we all know about so yeah. don't jump into water no. that's really cold um get in nice and gently when we get in just remember to breathe uh, and you'll be fine <laughs> i know all of this um yeah no it's really that's such an important piece actually just making sure that you know it might seem like a really cool thing to do because when you jump into a pool it's an easy thing to do but actually jumping in to some certainly water first of all i don't know this water so i'm definitely going to be jumping in so water that you don't know and in temperatures that are really cold not to jump in it's good you've got to yes it might seem like it's torture when you get in but safety first and all that making sure and then you can really start to get a hold of your breath and regulate your own breath deal with cold water shock yourself yeah. um, and then go out but one other thing for me is is just don't do it on your own so that's kind of why technically i think i'm dragging you here but i'm totally blaming him <laughs> for being here but definitely take some friends with you if you can um, and kind of know your limits little and often it does not have to be a, like a 10k swim at all if i'm in for four minutes i'm going to be actually really yeah. impressed with myself yeah. and actually somewhere like the docks where we are today is a great place to do yeah. it because we've got lifeguards yeah. we've got people around us uh, so yeah a really safe way to get into cold water yeah also don't forget some really important kit like definitely jackets as many jackets as you can loose fitting clothes a dry robe would have been a perfect thing for me to bring today which i left in the car whoops um but yes now i've got my nice uh, puffer selkie on so i'm really excited about getting back into this when we get out but we should probably stop talking we now. probably should we've got hot <laughs> chocolate waiting for afterwards uh, yes. but let's let's go let's go But no matter how long, so I've been doing it for 10 years now, yeah. but every time you get in, it's still the same. It's still you still think, why should I do this again? <laughs> and then you remember. That you feel good at the yeah. end. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's um, really interesting all the stuff happening at the moment around how it makes people feel yes. when they get out. And I think that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't really have a big challenge, I don't have anything. Except that's not, it doesn't involve a huge amount of training. Yeah, no, you see, you see people doing ice miles and ice kilometers, yeah. which is great, but actually, there's something really enjoyable just about a little dip, yeah. and it makes you feel amazing. And it, it, within itself, that's a great little challenge. Totally. Uh, yeah. I think the thing I've noticed the most so far since I, I chose to do this journey is that I think if you would force me in, I would have been like absolutely no chance yeah <laughs> but because it's my choice now it feels good it feels like yeah i can do this and i can get in and i can do whatever else i need to do and then i can yeah. go on with it so how do you feel i feel amazing i do feel really good yeah. i'm definitely still a little bit sugary and i'm not sure if i'm actually saying 
if what I'm thinking is coming out, yeah. but it's it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. I yeah. I'm, I loved it. I really really loved going out there. Um, I lost my goggles. I'm really annoyed about yeah. that. But otherwise, um, loved it. Cool. Thank uh, you. We, yeah. We've, so we've had hot chocolate. We didn't throw hot chocolate over ourselves, no. which is always a, <laughs> a, a danger. Uh, so now we can join the sub tent club. Yay! So <laughs> you get a pink square because we swam skins yes. and a star. So well, let's stick the star up here. Do I just go like that? Yeah. Woohoo! And oh, yeah. square. 